Hey y'all. How y'all doing today? Y'all like my little poof? So I'm just gonna get into this tutorial. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, what I'm calling it. So we're just gonna get on, get it started. So first, I'm gonna prime my face with the Becca First Light Primer. I like to touch my face as least as possible. Cause it's so freaking sensitive. I'm gonna use the Benefit Pore Professional. I'm gonna my T-zone right here. Right here, right here. I'm gonna know. Probably put too much on my nose, but that's okay. Let me start on complexion. Here's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in Amber. Yeah, I might have to mix something. It's look a little, look a little light, little light. So my go-to foundation mixer is the L'Oreal True Match Healthy Skin in C6. I mix everything. I use this to mix everything with, like anything that's too light. I use this. It always balances me out. I'm gonna keep on using this Sonia Kashuk sponge. It's a bomb from the Target. Hello. Go, go. I got for the Lola. In one of my last videos, I had little foundation streaks <laughs> where I didn't blend it in. Good enough. This camera playing me. No, I'm not playing me today. I've been playing with the the settings on my camera trying to get it like as perfect as possible and I'm working so now I'm gonna use the makeup revolution concealer why do I have C10? C10 is empty and C10 but it's a little empty but it's a, not empty but it's empty I bought a new one in C11 because C10 is just like a hair light. So I'm going to put some of this uh, pure beige ballet girl under my eye. I was going to try to use the ColourPop one. I might still do. I'm going to use a little of the, the one, the wrong color from ColourPop that I get. Yeah, see our best friend right here. Because our best friend Fenna is Fenna. Oh, go best friend. That's our best friend. That's our best friend. And I'm going to take some of this color problem. Because the coverage on this is amazing. <laughs> I am addicted to this product. I'm so addicted to this, these by Wait a while. Like, wait a while. If you see this video. <laughs> the addiction is real. Oh, I'm about to cream contour with Call Me Maple. And I also use Where's Walnut when Call Me Maple is a uh, not in stock. So I go back and forth between those two. So I'm going to use this e.l.f. what I use for liquid foundation and blend this step. Right here in my face. Let me zoom. Y'all, yeah, just a little bit. That way I can stop focusing on that damn head. And now my concealer. Who has listened to Jay Z and Beyonce City? The Carters. The, uh, uh, everything is love. I don't know why it took me so long to listen. Oh my goodness. They put in real life on that song. They put their life in them songs. Literally, but they life on to powder, powder the face with the lower muscle. I haven't used this in a long while. Long, while. long, no, where? Oh, the creasing too bad, baby. Uh -uh. Hold on. Up. The center of the face. 
I have a down bin. This uh, I just want to take the something I haven't used in a long time, shade and light palette. And I'm, I'm gonna take this banana shade too, put it under my eyes. But I'm gonna use this middle shade right here, mix with a little the the lighter color. These two together. Mm, look at that. Okay, ladies. Now let's get information. Prove to me you got some coordination. This brush by La, it's my Ray Ray number four brush. I'm going to this yellow. Put her under the eye to brighten. Just bring a little focus to the center of the face. So this bronzer right here by Wet n Wild and going to this, um, I think it's a limited edition it is. It's called Kung Lin. And they killed it with these. For, um, beat. So, just gonna take some and cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Let's cut it a little bit. Side beard going on. And then let's make some. So today we're gonna get into the troublemaker of the beauty community right now. This palette. This is the Jacqueline Hill times Morphe. My name Morphe times Jacqueline Hill ringing the lawn palette. It looks like this. And uh, she's been starting a lot of trouble. You know how they go. So we're just gonna put on that eyeballs today. We're gonna act like we don't know what's, what's going on. We've been trying to live our best life with this paint pot and painterly. I, for my eyes, I've been loving this little Park Avenue Princess as a transition color. Like, this is my perfect brown. This is my perfect brown, not yours. And I just gonna dust this into the crease. Oh my eye. Okay. Okay. So now let's go on to the troublemaker. I call this the troublemaker palette because this is the one that's always in detention in the principal's office. It's kind of on suspension. Um, I'm gonna start off with alert. Alert, 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 alert. Is that alert? Alert. Oh man, I dug into the wrong color. New brush, hold on. Alright, I'm gonna start off with alerts up here in the corner because I dug into the wrong color. I already started problem. I already I've been in class two minutes. So I'm just gonna pack alerts. Right about here. I like it. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm not gonna blend it out yet. I'm just gonna pack it. I'm blending it a little bit, but I'm just gonna pack it. I'm gonna blend it. Yes, yeah, I'm gonna blend it. Just blending it into Park Avenue Princess. That's all. Or is that what they call? I don't know. It look okay to y'all. It's okay to me. It's okay. Mm hmm I'm gonna pack a little more. Cause that's what I was noticing. I was noticing that you can't just start blending them. Like when I was watching videos, like because if there's not enough pigmentation packed, then the blend is gonna be very ugly. So I um so when it fades out, it looks really good. It doesn't look like, you know, I'm trying to get color and it won't blend. So when I blend it out, it looks really good. It looks graduated. It looks graduated versus just like faded. So where the color is supposed to be, it's just there. So if you don't pack it, then you're not going to be able to blend it correctly. Okay, little babies. Okay. So next I'm gonna like blow out this color secret. Unless we're going for sultry. We're going for sultry. We're going for not your typical eyeshadow look. 
And it's gonna blend. I'm gonna blend this one. I'm gonna blend it. And then I see it where it's separating right here. But that's okay because again, I'm gonna show y'all. Pack it. Then blend. And it's okay once you do that, okay? It's okay. Okay? It's okay. So just pack the color on with your blending brush. And a lot of people do this anyway. That's why I, I'm, I'm, I'm so confused. Y'all right, yeah, sit there and put... <clears throat> Matt, wait, wait. Y'all sit there and put 12 pounds of eyeshadow on your eye. And then y'all get this palette and be like, oh, I can't blend it. You, you didn't put a, even a half a pound on your eye yet. Stop playing with this girl. Playing with this company. Now I'm going to take alert. And just blend out secret palette. So I'm going to take bomb ass <laughs> and put this on my lid mix with probably mm, probably boom boom and bomb ass so this is boom boom bomb ass boom boom i'm gonna put bomb ass to the outer close to the orange right there mm. I watch that's my mind put that all over my lid I like it I like it like that all right guys I'm gonna take a sunburst right here sunburst sunburst yeah that and I'm gonna put this on my bra bone come on focus on me just wanna focus on my eye okay that's fine I'm just gonna pet that Ooh. And then I'm also gonna put it in here. What's in here? In my inner tip bit. So we zoomed out just a little more. Okay. No. The lash is bone, anything bone. I decided for my bottom lash line, I just, uh, I like the way the eyes pop and I don't wanna do a lot on the bottom. So I'm just gonna take this black eye cold from Wet and Wild and line my waterline. With this sign of brush because I like the I like the wet and wild brush that's similar to these that I get. It's similar. It's a little more fluffy, yeah. This is dirty though. So the wet and wild brush is similar to these. My Ray Ray brush. You know what? Forget it. We're gonna use this. I'm gonna use this sleek makeup blush that I been running out of, y'all. I know y'all like girl. It took me so long to use it that like now that I'm finally using it. So, for highlight, I'm not going to Dripping Into Gold, my favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight. Came through Drip, Drip, Drip. It's a classic. This highlight for me is classic. Pro Fix Illuminating Spray. Use the NYX. Suede in Downtown Beauty. This is the closest you can get to the cork for cheaper. Next, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the Posh Matte Liquid Lipstick by Measurable Difference, and I think it's it's called Nudist. It's called Nudist. I know exactly what it's called. Mm. Okay. Now for my favorite is gloss. This is gloss has a little one 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 lot of little reflexes. This is the black radiant brilliant fix lip gloss, which is which is which is my favorite. At the moment, it's my favorite lip gloss. Oh let's pull this soap. Let's do this. Let's do some more. Let's do some more. Can I talk to you? I really want to know your name. Okay, guys, that's too much. Um, so I'm sure. If you guys hear the video game in the background, this is my husband playing a game. He didn't close the bedroom door. So, yeah, y'all can hear everything. Everything is love. So, if you guys like this 
look thumbs up this video and until next time next makeup Mwah. love you guys bye